Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and Kong Funko Pop 3 pack. So, uh, let's just dive straight into it and get this bad boy open. Now, uh, before we go any farther into the actual figures, uh, I want to take a look at this really, really nice box here. Uh, as you can see, we get some nice uh, text up here, Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla and Kong. You get the movie logo, pop movies, some nice images of the figures here, and this little sticker telling you it is a BAM exclusive. Uh, look at the top, you get a little window, and it just says pop movies. I really don't understand the purpose of the top window. I guess it, it's nice, uh, yeah. Uh, I do like top flat boxes way more than side flat boxes. You also get a really nice uh, orange destroyed city background in there. Flip it around, you get three pack up here in uh, black and white. Hot Movies logo, some more images of the figures themselves. And on the back, you get a nice look at all the other figures, and along with the Legendary and Toho logos. Wow, my voice is cracked. Monsterverse logo up here. Godzilla vs. Kong logo right there. Along with that, you get some uh, prog images of the other figures in line. You get Godzilla 10-inch, Kong 10-inch. Might get one of those if I can find it. Um, normal Godzilla, Heat Ray Godzilla, which comes in this set. You get the Mecha Godzilla, which also comes in this set. Along with Battle Ready Kong, Kong with Battle Axe, comes in this set. Battle Scarred Kong. Um, on top of that, there is one extra figure that I guess just isn't here. There is a Heat Ray Mecha Godzilla. On the bottom, just some legal info. You can scan that if you want to, I guess. And that is it for the packaging. And now we'll take a look at the actual figures themselves. You can see here, they're all nicely put in the box. I think you can see a little reflection up there. Um, Nicely put in this little plasticky, bubbly thing, and they were way heavier than I expected. I first got these guys in hand, so I'll go ahead and open these up. Okay, and I'm just gonna tumble out of there. I'm gonna put this plastic to the side, and we'll take a look at the figures one by one. And we'll start with Kong. Here we have Kong himself looking pretty nice. Um, they did a great job with the detailing here. Got some monkey cheeks. All the Kong figures have them, no matter what kind of figure it is. And he has very nice sculpt and detailing. They managed to put this guy in the pop style without having it look too basic and just you know, slap some stuff on a template. This looks like a wholly original figure just with the pop eyes. Ah! My voice. My bad. Um, once again, you get some legal info on the feet here. I don't know why I said once again. The axe here looks really, really nice. Um, they did do it a bit more cartoonish looking, so it has more of a just straight up white bone here. Looks like a turkey leg almost. The fin here was very nicely done. I like how they did the blue. It turned out pretty well. Along with that, you get the fleshy, leathery texture there, wrapping it all together. I like Kong's eyes here, although the printing on this one is a little off, if you can see right there. And uh, yeah, he has his ears, he has everything. And one thing I like in particular is that they gave his salt and pepper beard a variation in paint. So it is a much lighter color. You get the three chest scars and he has a swivel at his head and oh. Okay, I guess it really isn't a bobblehead now, is it? Thankfully that just pops in. And yeah, it's a very ni nice figure. Maybe it is a bobblehead. I can't tell. Either way, very nice figure. Some more scars on the face and I like his closed mouth expression here. Very serious looking. Did think it was odd he had orange eyes compared to the other Kong figures. Next, we'll take a look at is Godzilla, which I'm not, this guy might be my favorite even compared to Mega Godzilla so far. So you can see he looks very nice, little paint mishap near the nose there, but not that big of a deal. 
very nice 360 degrees i don't know if this one glows in the dark i think that might have been a variant or something like that but he also comes with this very very nice looking heat ray effect i absolutely love the way it looks and another thing i want to comment on is that this godzilla uh, i think is the second godzilla pop they've made i mean not including the other ones in the line i just mean in general this is pretty much the second godzilla pop they ever made I really do like the way they did them. Do you think the spines were underdone a little bit? I get it's the pop style, but if you recall, the original pop Godzilla figure had much larger spines, but get some nice blue eyes here, baby blue. And get a look at the feet. They Are they backwards? I can't tell if they're backwards or if that's how they were in the movie where that toe's smaller. I can't tell. Uh, either way, still very nice detailing. They did a great job putting all the weathering in. You can see all of that texture. It looks very, very nice. Now, I think there's just a hole in the mouth where you plug in his atomic breath, and that just looks amazing. I love the translucent look to it there. Really, really nice. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take this lamp here. Let's try and shine through it that shine and that does look pretty good please excuse any background noise um, <laughs> he has a bit of a dark gray greenish color here with some yellowy dry brushing looks very very nice I'm gonna keep the heat ray in and I think this is a very very well done Funko Pop I like how they flattened out the base there so it could just sort of sit there I like how the tail also manages to wrap around a little bit and that is it for Godzilla and finally what all oh right one more thing uh, he does not have a head swivel uh, unlike Kong but to be fair the original Godzilla pop didn't have one either this is just not human shaped enough don't know if it I don't know if it's plugged in properly but there's that and here we have Mechagodzilla, and this guy is just absolutely gorgeous. I love the way they did the detailing on this guy. All the mechanical detail is here. They did a very, very nice job. I like how the bottom wasn't flattened out, and they actually did get the detail on there. But I do think it's odd they put the... <clears throat> wow, my voice just cracked really badly. I do think it's odd that they put the copyright info on his chin. So, yeah, uh, that's whatever, I guess. Um, he looks really nice. He has a very silvery metallic finish. But he doesn't have that same kind of depth that uh, Godzilla does. Also want to make that comparison to Kong real quick. If you take all three figures, oops, uh, you'll notice Godzilla has much better painting. Am I putting the atomic breath in right? It's just not sticking. All right. You may notice Godzilla has much better paint than the other two. Just much more depth to it. The other two look a lot more plastic. I think that's better. Um, the other two look a lot more plasticky. Uh, Mechagodzilla does have the silvery finish, so it doesn't look as cheap as Kong. But I think Kong's, at least his axe, could have used some of the finish that Godzilla's uh, skin did. So that's just something I wanted to point out. And I'm not sure if this works or not. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe. I know that they did make a version of this figure that has a red heat ray. And I could easily see them swapping out that top piece right there. It looks like there's a seam there, actually. And just repainting it slightly and having a red version of this plug into there. And selling a new one. It sounds like something Funko would do. Anyway, <laughs> once again, very, very nice sculpting coloring and painting on this thing and one thing i want to point out right now this doesn't look or feel like a pop figure very solid durable ow um very nicely detailed and it doesn't have the same kind of pop style that you can still see in these two despite how close they are and just look like cheapified versions they have the pop eyes this guy kind of does but because of his red pupils it just doesn't feel like a pop figure and I actually really like that about this guy once again all the little red accents on all 
almost all the spines are painted except for these top three for some reason. Uh, but all of them are painted except for those top three and it looks really, really amazing. They even got detailing on the inside of the mouth there. It's absolutely gorgeous what they managed to do here. Although I think the hands are like backwards, like wrong. I'm pretty sure the fingers are supposed to be up here where you can see the hinge. I don't know if my hand's walking the camera. The hinge is in the middle and it should be facing the other way, but it's just a minor little, minor little nitpick because looking at all the detailing on this guy, it, it's amazing. Plus I could easily see earlier concepts just having a slightly different looking version of the hand and they based it off that or the hand could just be rotated to the side I don't know maybe my figure is defective or something or may, uh, heck maybe it's like a special edition this wasn't the BAM 3 pack after all but I gotta say Mecha Godzilla might be my favorite I'd say Kong is my least favorite I really like Kong but Godzilla is just such a nice pop figure. It doesn't feel like a pop figure, and that's something you want out of these guys. When they don't feel like a pop figure, that's when they're best, which is really just speaks to how weird the style of Funko Pops are. It may just be more their reputation rather than how good they actually are, but let's get the other two in here for a nice lined up shot of all of them. And yes, this looks amazing. Definitely going to be displaying these guys. I don't know if out of box or in box, but either way, I'm going to be displaying them. Uh, remember to check out Wild West Weebs. Definitely do that. Um, they really nice store. And yeah, I really like these three figures here and the way they turned out. Um, I did not expect this kind of quality from Funko. I don't know how... Decently priced they are right now, considering they're a BAM exclusive, but yeah, you can definitely get really, really nice Funko Pops from Wild West Weebs. And I'm going to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.